The Vanuatu archipelago is made up of over 80 islands, which are home to the country's population of approximately 270,000. The fact that these islands are of volcanic origin has recently been brought back to the forefront of everyone's mind. Late last year, the island of Ambai, which is itself a massive volcano protruding out of the Pacific Ocean, experienced a significant increase in volcanic activity, prompting the government to evacuate the entire 11,000 member population to nearby islands. Most of them returned home by early 2018. Unfortunately, the volcano once again increased in activity in March, with eruptions in April and July sending massive amounts of ash into the sky, blanketing the entire island. This ash blanket was made heavier by humidity and rain, ultimately causing houses to collapse and trees to topple, destroying gardens and livestock, contaminating natural and artificial water supplies, and significantly degrading air quality. The government was forced to once again engage in a mandatory evacuation of the entire island in August, which is expected to remain in effect throughout the remainder of this year and beyond. We've been in contact with our church members from Ambai throughout this tumultuous process and have been able to meet some short-term needs of food and other necessities over the past few months. Those who are relocated to nearby Maiwo Island have been living in tent cities with regular rations of rice and tin meat being supplied by the government. Those who chose to relocate to Santo Island were helped with transportation costs, but have been responsible for finding their own shelter and food supply, primarily by staying with kind souls willing to take the refugees into their homes. The situation would be disastrous in any context, but the pain of leaving your homeland is magnified in Vanuatu, because land is life here. Directly or indirectly, the land provides food, water, building materials, and money. After a recent trip to Santo to visit with some of the Ambayans, we and our elders have determined the need to initiate a fundraising effort to help these brethren. It is evident that this is going to be an ongoing issue for years to come, and we believe that we have reached a point in time in which there is significant need. Of course, we wish we could help all 11,000 refugees, but we are especially compelled to begin with our brethren. We have set a goal of raising $20,000. It is important to acknowledge that this remains a fluid situation, as we are dealing with unpredictable environmental factors as well as unclear long-term governmental assistance plans. Though we continue to seek God's wisdom through prayer as we assess the situation and discuss the ongoing needs with locals, we plan to move towards purchasing rural property on Santo Island and constructing a simple pavilion whose roofing will be used to collect rainwater. We envision this serving as a location where displaced Ambayan brethren can live temporarily in housing of local materials and also providing land for gardening. As an additional bonus, we are seeking to buy land relatively close to where the church currently meets in Santo, so these brethren can benefit from regular fellowship as well. If you'd like to contribute to this effort, donations are now being accepted by the Perkins Church of Christ. Checks can be mailed to the Church of Christ on by relief effort at P.O. Box 128, Perkins, Oklahoma, 74059. Donations via credit card and debit card can also be made securely by clicking on the Donate button at the perkinschurch.org slash missions webpage and earmarked on by. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us using the links found at missionvanuatu.com. Thank you for listening, and God bless.